Hi Cancer, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. I hope you guys are doing well, getting through all the uh, Christmas rush as I speak today to you guys. I am here to do a singles reading for you Cancer and it's whatever's going to happen within seven days and um, is there any romantic potential with a specific love? So we'll pull a card from the Enchanted Animal Oracle Cards by Nick Bibes and see what the overall energy for seven days is for you. So let's see what we've got for our beautiful single Cancerians. Thank you. Okay. We've got the giraffe, which is oneness. So you're hoping to be at one, at peace with yourself, at peace with others. Um, there is something that's still hidden from you and you may be going through some challenges. But as I was shuffling the cards, I was feeling that, you know, um, it's gonna, the person you want to be with is going to be a lot of hard work. You know, uh, this is your chosen love. And um, maybe you or this person are still healing from a previous relationship. You know, your heart's still healing is what I'm feeling. So, I'm going to have a look at what the card means for you in the book. Just bear with me. Okay, so what I'm feeling for you, Cancer, is with the giraffe, you know, I feel like you're at your um, best when the sun and the moon are in conjunct with each other. I do feel, you know, um, that you'll be coming ungrounded by loving this person. I do feel there's some sort of disconnect with this person. You know... Your physical world is separated from your spiritual world. So this is detaching you from your spirituality. Now, your guidance is time to get grounded, just like the giraffe. I feel like there's a strong need to take stock of a current situation with this person and you need to reassess your part in this relationship. Ask yourself, do you need to be where you are or doing what you were doing? Is there a person or an influence around you that is luring you away from what you need to do? So maybe this person's not on your same vibration here, Cancer. Um, you've got to find time to reacquaint yourself with your goals and your purpose. Okay. Uh, something just happened there and clicked off. So that's definitely an affirmation here to me. So center yourself and stand as one with the earth and spirit through meditation or quiet contemplation. You know, go away in nature and do this by yourself so you can get some clarity. Your animal message from the giraffe is um, let us run across the plains. Let our antennas connect with spirit and our feet firmly pound the earth. Let us feel the connection of the world around us. Your affirmation Cancer is to say, I am connected to spirit, my body, and myself. Okay, so this person's luring you away from your spirituality. Okay, and what you're meant to be doing here on the earth. So let's see, with the Lenormand cards, what else is coming out for you? What other energies we can get for our beautiful Cancerians, please? Thank you. You have definitely, um, you know, challenge of isolation perhaps getting away you've got free will and choices to decide what to do in your life where to go this person in this card is walking alone so as the giraffe saying get some time on your own just to get your uh, spirituality back and know what you're here on on the earth for we've got the bear here so this is someone that's in authority you know, maybe it's telling you to take control back of your life and where you're meant to go. Heal cancer. Let's see. Yes, just cancer needs an nice spirit, please. Okay. Okay, this is something you need to pay attention to. Uh, 
this is a card of your north node, your destiny. You need to pay attention uh, to the decisions that you make. Take control of them. And remember that you've got to get out there and um, ground yourself. We've got goals and, and your long-term goals, your career that is suffering because of you wanting to be with this person, I would imagine. So all this is going to come to fruition in the next seven days. So we've got the dog, which is, you know, long-term goals and finding out um, what you're loyal to. Maybe you're stuck with this person and you've been neglecting friends perhaps in a way. You are at uh, peace with the moon when the moon is here. And this could be a Cancerian friend or this is you. You need to pay attention to your goals, being loyal to your friends and, you know, being creative and emotional. So we've got Libra, Capricorn and Cancerian energy so far. And we've got the tree, Virgo energy. So, you know, maybe um, this is about being patient, but also taking control of your life. Things are going to start to bloom in your career it is solid you've got the gemini energy here you know it's important to pay particular attention to your business your career and your money and the way that your love is going to flow with this person let's see what else okay. and taurus energy this is bonds contracts relationships so you are going to move uh, freely towards a, a strong bond and a relationship. I do see this being long-term relationship. Um, you know, like there has been blockages with your emotions and creativity and something was still hidden. I do see you making decision about this friend so maybe it hasn't been a past relationship this is a, a friend that you have interest in and maybe um this person is making you feel stuck and you're losing that spirituality side of things so you need to ground yourself again in order to be able to have a um a deep love with this person for the future whether you decide to leave this person, move on and find a new love, a Taurus perhaps, or whether you're looking for something with this person you need to be patient with. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to have a drink of water. Let's see what your outcome is here, Cancer. Now, beautiful Cancer singles, what do you have, please, Spirit? But uh, um, just remember who you are. Okay, thank you. Okay, because you do have the moon up here as well. And that, as I said, this is where you feel your best when the moon is out and you've got it here again. So Cancer, we've got eight of summer, the kangaroo. So you're going to feel that there's more to life than what you're living. You know, um, time to move on. So maybe you are going to meet someone new. This is moving on from a situation and um, being drawn to a, a situation or person that's going to make you happy. But either way, it's about taking control of your life again. You know, paying attention, and this is what is needed here to take control of this situation. So... I wish you all the very best, all the very best for Christmas, guys, and I'll see you next year. Bye for now.